I went through these applications, tried them out, tested them, and I really like these, so that I'm gonna show you. And the first one is called Write Room. I write a lot for work, and I have so many distractions on my computer, like my iTunes, music, other people IMing me. So I use something called Write Room, and it blocks out everything else to let you focus on what you're writing, and it's fully customizable, like the font colors, the font types, but it also auto-saves, which is key. And another cool thing about it is it has the application for the iPhone. And so you can type if you're on the subway, wherever, and then it'll auto-sync what you're working on, and it'll auto-save also, which is really neat. Speaking of reading and writing, there's another web app called Readability, which is really simple and interesting. I'm surprised I hadn't seen it before. It's a web application that will take almost anything from a web page, format it into a friendlier, more succinct version, and presents it in a simple format, changeable with a bookmarklet. Just click it and it'll change the text into exactly what you want. Larger, smaller, a fancy font perhaps? It was great seeing all of your suggestions and emails for applications that I should try in the last episode. And one user, Kieran, sent along a whole great list and I took two of those out of the list and I wanted to share them with you. One of them is called Caffeine. If you're like me, I watch a lot of videos and DVDs on my computer, but without the right settings, the screen will go blank from the screensaver. Instead of changing all of your settings, try using Caffeine. It keeps your screensaver from turning on at the wrong moment. It's very easy. The second suggestion from user Kieran is something called Awaken. Basically turns your computer into a sleek alarm clock. I have my computer and desk set up in my bedroom, so it's something that's perfect for waking me up. It's easy to program what music or sounds you can wake up to, and you can also change the settings to blend into the decor of your room. So it's just a more pleasant way of waking up in the morning than that loud buzzer. And speaking of music and sounds, I think my favorite application that I discovered was Spotify. Spotify is in its beta version, but basically it's a music service that's like an amped up Pandora or Last.fm. And you can actually integrate Spotify and Last.fm together. It's a music service that you just type in an artist's name and see every single song or album this person has done and listen to it right away. I found myself listening to it for days on end. Even though it's one of the more popular applications that I've mentioned, I wanted to let you know about Views, which is used for downloading BitTorrent files. The interface is really easy to use and it doesn't crash because they seed their own content, making it very reliable and simple to navigate. Here at work, I watch a lot of videos during the day and sometimes I want to broadcast whatever audio is on my computer over the speakers. I'm connected to something called an Airport Express, which is a network for your computer, but I use a program called Airfoil, which will take any audio from my computer and put it onto the speakers that are attached to the network. That way you can broadcast any ridiculous video you may find, or even movies, whatever audio is playing on your computer. The last application I'd suggest you check out is something called Fluid. It takes some of your favorite online applications like Facebook or especially something like Pandora and it turns it into an application that can run from your hard drive. It's also really good for things like Google Reader or some of the other Google applications, but basically it takes an online application and turns it into one that runs off of your computer. Really neat. I hope that you found the applications useful. I know that I definitely do. And if you have any suggestions, please email them to me at rbtech at rocketboom.com. Thanks again. And I think I'm gonna go and play with Spotify, find some new music.